Hey, right, Tuesday, Uncle's Up Day. So we have our arm wrestling on TV. Uh, it's the Montana Arm Benders live stream. If you haven't seen it, you need to see this. These guys did a great production. Uh, my friend Josh Wilson up there, no relation. Wish we were. He's a good guy. He and his brother David. Um, but so get out the book. The date, knuckles up, and then our first exercise is going to be with the, um, with this right here, and so this you can get off of Uh, Amazon, and I'll be posting the link for this. Um, I use it, you can use it with the two inch bar or a one inch bar. It's actually designed for the landmine to be used with that. This is what it looks like. I just have a one inch uh, dumbbell uh, bar that I use with it. And I just do it like this. And I take a 25 pound to start out with. And just put it on just like that. Okay. And how I do it. You want to keep your arms as straight as you can. And you do reps like that. Okay, so there's 10 with 25 pounds. So I'll write that down. Okay, and now for another set. I'll go ahead and put a 10 pound plate on there. Thank you, Bob Brown for the 10 pound plate. <laughs> Bought some weights off of Bob. Okay. Grab it again. Very squeeze out 10 of those. So do three sets. Do three sets of those. And uh, that's your first knuckle up exercise. Um, but if you prefer, you can. Just use the dumbbell like this, and you probably won't be able to put much weight on it. I just have five pounds on there now, and you can do the same thing if you don't want to buy that. <clears throat> same concept, try to keep your arms straight, and you're holding your hand like this. <clears throat> and you can do that with both sides.
Okay, so now we're doing knuckles up. You write it in the book. Uh, again, this is, I'm using a belt that uh, I actually was shopping for shorts and they were on clearance and they had these belts on them. Um, and I actually uh, gave one to Pavlo and Pablo seems to like it. He's doing some pretty heavy lifts. So these belts can, they can handle a lot of weight. But we're not going to do a lot of weight with this right now. So with this, what you want to do, you want to fold it a little bit, fold it in half, get it behind your hand like this. And I'm just using 25 pounds on here. And I'm going to just do some reps. Okay. I'm going to do the same with the left. And it's up to you if you uh, worry about your left or not. Uh, Bob just tends to do his right. He does his left sometimes when he's behaving. Okay, so that's, that's how you do that one. So today, I'm just doing this for reps. Um... Next week, I will try to see if I can add more weight on there. But I like to start on the other side and use my lat to get it started to pull it back. Just like that. Yeah, you're going to want to start it um, where you need to pull it back from the starting position because that's going to get you in the habit of engaging your lat. So you... <clears throat> And make sure you're holding on to the peg just like you would in a, if you're arm wrestling. These exercises are mimicking arm wrestling movements for the most part. And uh, that's how you want to do that. So the isometrics is pulling as hard as you can against like a wall. I use a chain to stop. Uh, what I'm doing is different than a static hold. Static hold, you're you're able to pull and lessen the force and that type of thing. With the chain, you're pulling as hard as you can. It's like pulling against the wall. And uh, I do it for 20 seconds, for 20 seconds for each arm. And I take a, a two minute break between each time. And I'm using my watch here to keep track. And uh, here we go. I've only got a 25 pound plate that I'm using. And then uh, I've got this chain. And this is what it looks like. And you don't, the chain is kind of heavy. You don't want to have any slack in the chain when you're doing this. You've got to pay attention and make sure that chain is taut, as taut as it can be, this whole, the whole 20 seconds.
Okay, there's 20 seconds with the right. Now we're going to do 20 seconds with the left. Can't let it sag. Okay, wait two minutes, do it again for a total of four sets. Okay, guys, that's Knuckles Up for today. We'll be doing this again next week with different exercises or different methods, but some of the same. But uh, yeah, keep going for it.